Hi everyone, this is Django from Game Bank. I'm going to do a review of StarCraft 2. There's been so many reviews that written reviews, video reviews, that if you want to get kind of a bit more of a, a basic overview, then check out one of those. There's a bunch on on the site, so take a look there. I'm going to try and get into a little bit more of uh, the kind of grit of the game for people really wanting to kind of understand whether they want to spend uh, their their money or their hard earned money or maybe not hard earned um, on this game whether it's actually worth it the gameplay itself is very much like something like Dawn of War 2 or Command and Conquer if you're not familiar with uh, Starcraft and that kind of thing it's kind of fo relatively fast paced uh, different units to choose selection of the squads and moving them through although it's an RTS there's not massive tactical things that you can do uh, compared to some other games but now although I've said that it's still fun you know there's a lot of things going on that kind of boost it up which are things like the story the story which I'm not going to go into a, a great deal it's very diverse there's a lot of things going on there some choices that you can make along the way uh, that kind of really brings the game up to a really decent level uh, but let's um, talk now about the graphics as you've probably seen already you know the cutscenes are quite sublime got a really good style to them kind of felt a little bit like um, as I said Dawn of War 2 and also kind of things a little bit like Borderlands 2 if you know it's got a really nice feel about the game it feel uh, the graphics uh, feel very complete as you can see you know there's a lot of different units a lot of different um, effects going on now the campaigns themselves um, they're quite diverse you don't just kind of go in kill this enemy go away you know they can be actually quite diverse and they're kind of tied in with the story as you'd expect uh, but it kind of makes for a real diverse experience when you're playing through the campaign um, you know there's a lot of different things you can do with the units I mean that's my command center flying away there um, so I mean you know you can actually completely remove your base of operations so here we are another little aspect of achievements and there are loads and this is now a list of the maps that you can play either against the AI or you can play in co-op against the AI uh, these maps are available for multiplayer as well so that you know the maps themselves are very diverse there's a lot of different ones to play and this is one of the more interesting aspects of the game uh, beyond you know the kind of ground fights and this is on your ship uh, we're on in the armory at the moment and in, in here we can boost our units we can upgrade them which cost credits which you earn through doing um, campaigns and it can unlock more damage more more armor or different special abilities for them which is kind of cool we're on the bridge now and this is kind of you'll see the menu at the bottom you can select where on your ship you want to jump to so we've jumped to the campaign um, the cantina now and from here we can unlock mercenaries now these mercs are are kind of veteran units so they're similar to units you you can already make but they're obviously boosted uh, because they are veterans and they're very cool there's some very nice ones that you can unlock even further into the game which uh, kind of makes them interesting um, for interesting strategic options there's some things like jukebox and news and you know conversations and various other bits you can go through on the uh, on your ship that add to the overall feel of it we're in the laboratory now and if we go into hell you can see that there's research trees now for some choices you make some campaigns that you do it'll, un it'll kind of move the level of these research trees up which it then opens up different options that you can choose which again boost all sorts of things or make special abilities become available now this is quite a powerful part of the the game so to ignore this and just continually going into the campaign all the time without spending a bit of time on your ship in between each one you're going to kind of miss out on some of this stuff 
um, and it is actually really good you can upgrade buildings once they're actually built in the campaign but you know for the overall kind of boost that's where you want to look to and finally on the bridge this is where you kind of choose the missions you want to do and when you select one of the planets you'll get a little bit of a talk through and it will also show you here um, the item that you will unlock by achieving that campaign and sometimes it's not an item sometimes it's actually um, you know some research or something like that now what I didn't like about the game there's not much use of things like cover it's literally you kind of run in like com uh, Command and Conquer, old school. You kind of run in and blast away. Uh, there's there were some pathing issues uh, with some of the troops, uh, which was a little bit annoying. But to be honest, it didn't detract too much from the gameplay. There's a lot going here. It, as I said earlier, my scores will come up at the end, but. You know, you want to kind of think about this as a rounded game, which it is. You know, Blizzard has spent a lot of time on this and done a good job. So, try and get a guest pass and check it out. And uh, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. You know it's time for us to step it up. Another level now, because we finished warming up. So we rise up, elevate to maintain, fill up with